No need to work your way through those exhaustive 2018 sports calendars. I have found the best bits for you. No doubt there will be many more thrilling moments and unexpected accomplishments. But make sure you are glued to the screen on. Serena Williams won the mixed doubles in 2017. Well, she had two people on her side of the net during the women's final. Who would bet she can't give birth, swing the racket in a few warm-up events and win an eighth Australian title? Australia would be a paroxysm of mixed emotions should Nick Kijos make his way to the men's final, a process that would leave a trail of blazing strokes, abused officials and controversial statements evoking love and loathing in equal measure. But so mercurial is Kijos it is difficult to predict whether he will breathe out after breathing in, let alone his Grand Slam performances. Expect the customary Fedal Jock Curre victory instead. I would narrow it down to Australia's apparent gold medal hopes, moguls skier Brett Cox and snowboarder Scotty James. But Winter Olympics previews are only slightly more reliable than Melbourne weather forecasts. Instead tune in for the curling, speed skating or luge and allow yourself to revel in your ignorance of quirky sports you'll never take seriously, much like your American guests might do when you take them to an AFL game. The usual local interest. Jason Day is a perennial contender, Mark Leishman is due and Adam Scott has taken his long putter out of the shed and is shopping for pants that go with green. But the real fascination is whether Tiger Woods' apparent renaissance after years of physical pain and private turmoil is real and he will threaten to win his first major since the 2008 US Open. That would be amazing for golf fans. Even more inspiring for those of us who can't bend over to pick up the bath mat without feeling like we've been stabbed in the back with a hunting knife. Gold Coast flyer Sally Pearson is the official face of the Commonwealth Games. As such, the 2017 World Champions appearance will be the Kathy Freeman moment. Unfortunately so many media outlets are boycotting the event because of a strict rights holders agreement that Pearson's likely triumph might not even make the back page of the Mudgy Guardian. Even those who doubt the enduring significance of the Commonwealth Games will agree the netball final between, I am going out on a limb here, Australia and New Zealand will be worth watching. Have Lisa Alexander's diamonds separated themselves from the pack with their cutting edge program? Have the gritty silver ferns been inspired by recent defeats? The Com Games might save its best moment for the last day. You once might have said that with South Korea, Japan and Vietnam, the Matildas had drawn the group of death. Now, with Sam Kerr the most lethal weapon in the international game, other teams lament drawing the world no four ranked Australians. An Australian victory will increase impetus for Australia's 2023 Women's World Cup bid. Given the attacking spirit with which the Matildas play it will also be great fun to watch. Under the coaching of, um, is Harry Redknapp still available? The Socceroos opening World Cup game will carry enormous expectations.